Hello, this is your girl Fasology, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. I'm on VU today, and I'm going to do a refreshers course on chains. Some people have been having a hard time with it, so I'm going to do an in-depth kind of overview of it, and you guys are going to see step by step what I'm doing, um, and hopefully this video can help you. All right, so before I even do the chains, I'm gonna let you guys know that where I'm gonna be deriving from at first. So let's go. The person I'm deriving from is Duty 3D, and this is what it looks like. It comes with the chain texture. Make sure you guys save this, right click and save. Uh, it's not much here, but this is what it is. The product ID number is below you can click on derive from product very simple now i'm going to go into gimp and show you guys what i have okay so i have a bunch of things and it's because i couldn't decide what i want to do so i have a bunch of chains that i wanted to do and i'm going to show you guys this one i'm definitely doing this one this is for people who like to you know <laughs> uh, this is one that I actually liked because it was interesting layman and if you are a fan of Dragon Ball Z like I am Frieza okay so first thing I do is I'm gonna have to crop so let me crop I'm gonna click the crop tool and I'm gonna crop. I'm gonna crop it at a good, at a good place right here. And clip. Cropped it already. Good to go. Here I don't need to crop. Here I need to crop. Only crop it to a certain point. Cause I don't need anything else. Here I don't need to crop. Here I need to crop. there okay so now I'm going to be using we're gonna be using tools most of the time you go to select tool click on fuzzy select and we're gonna get rid of the background now if you find chains that already have the background removed good for you but for me all the good-looking ones I have to remove the background for so I go to colors color to alpha and I adjust all the way up and okay and I'm going to do tools again select tools fuzzy select there and I'm going to repeat color to alpha and there you go so it's pretty simple and I when you do save these things make sure you do dot PNG especially if you're removing the background it's just easier that way and I saved it now I'm gonna do the same here filters well not filters tools select fuzzy select I'm just moving it in enough there repeat it's pretty simple to do it like this. Pretty, pretty simple. And file, overwrite. This one. Oh, this left. I try to get the ones that you don't have to do too much. Some people like to be complicated and do too much. I, I'm pretty simple. Filters, repeat. Tools, fuzzy select this part filters repeat if you guys hear any noise it's a train in the background and also a dog here so if he starts barking randomly sorry now file overwrite now tools select tools fuzzy select up here 
thing. Good on that. I think I just not put it in too much. If I'm having too much difficulty, most of the time I just leave it alone and be like, you know what, I'm not gonna do it. No matter how good the chain looks, sometimes you just, it's just better to go with simple stuff. This one, most likely I'm not gonna do. It's just too much. I have to do extra and I don't wanna do extra. Now for this one, it'll be easy. I'm assuming it's gonna be easy. Taking longer than expected. Okay. If I have trouble with this one, I'm also not gonna do this one. And I might just focus on the three that I just did. Okay, I'm not gonna be focusing on this one. So, that means it was not meant to be, so I'm gonna click out of this, discard, Look out of this and discard. These three are the chains I will be working with. But you'll probably only see me do one as an example. I might do two. Okay. So, I finished here. Now, we're going to go into the U real quick. So, we're going to go into the U. So, I'm in the U. Now, remember... If you guys like this head that I'm wearing, it is in my shop. It's available in my shop and it's very affordable. All right, so let's focus on the chain. So there's two types of chains here. To me, this doesn't even matter. I wanna get rid of the moving part, which is the mesh part. So if I wanna get rid of that, I'm just gonna make this black. The whole thing black. And apply changes. And save. So this is what it looks like. Obviously, you're going to have to have a black background. That's what we're going to be focusing on. 512 times 512. So always focus on the size of it. And let's go into the U. Well, we're already in view, sorry. Let's go into GIMP. So we're back in GIMP. Now what I'm going to do here is do File, New. Well, actually, yeah. File new. 512 over 512. Okay. Now, as you've seen it, on VU, it has to be a black background. So I click on the bucket tool. And I'm just going to fill. And I'm going to name it for chains. So I'm going to do save as for chains, JPG, and take me to export dialog and export and export again. And we're all set. This is saved. Now for putting the chain here. File, open as layer. Gotta remember what the chain is called. There. 
Now, is it big enough? I don't know. I don't know if it's big enough, but I will be adjusting it if it's if it doesn't fit. But for now, I'm just gonna go into I'm gonna go into the U real quick. But I'm gonna save this real quick. So export for change. Now let's go into VU. Okay, we're back in VU, and here is where we're gonna put the actual texture where you can see the colors at. Edit. And put that here. Now I'm not gonna show you guys what it looks like yet. Most likely, obviously, I'm gonna have to move this up because this is touching, so I'm gonna adjust it in GIMP. So let's go and adjust. Okay, we're back in GIMP. And now I'm just going to adjust it with the move tool. Move it up. All the way to the top. And I'm going to File, Export. Now let's go into View. Now, I'm not applying changes for a reason yet, but I will. All right, so now we're going to go back into GIMP and we are going to make this white. So let's do that. So let's make this white. So what I'm gonna do is color, colorize, hue, saturation, and then lightness. Bring that all the way up and okay. Now I'm going to do file, export for change. And let's go into view. Okay, we're back in view. Go edit. apply changes Wow now that looks good I'm not gonna lie that looks really good to me it looks good I like it now we gonna have to have this this chain part this chain link it's gonna have to match so I might be doing a lot of adjusting but let's let's get this right down I think some subscribers of mine was having a hard time making it match so let's make it match okay so we're back in GIMP and I'm gonna do edit undo colorize now we're gonna be focusing on the dropper tool here because I really want to make this chain match um, we don't even necessarily have to do this part but I'm gonna tell you guys an easier way but for now, I'm gonna show you. So for the dropper tool, we're gonna click the part where we want to copy. So most likely we wanna copy this part. So it's gonna be like a grayish color. Click on the dropper tool, click on the bucket tool, and I'm clicking okay. So now when I go here, I could change the color with the bucket. And this is how I did it last time. Very simple, easy. It doesn't get every area, but it could. And then I do file, overwrite. And export. So now we're gonna go into view to see if it's the same color. Okay, so now the texture. So I'm going to click on the texture. Click on change. And apply changes. I really like that. 
I really don't. And if I wanted to be even more creative, this part down here, I can make it blue. The same color as this blue here. I'm gonna see what that looks like. So let's go back into GIMP. So we're back into GIMP and I'm gonna undo what I just did with the bucket though. I like to do things simple on my channel. I don't do difficult things. Now, if I wanna teach you guys something difficult, that will happen in the future. Right now, I'm sticking to people who just found my channel and they're curious and then my subscribers who ask for help. So now, I'm gonna do the picker tool again, this color and the bucket and okay and now what I'm about to do is go here and I'm going to fill it now this I want to do a little bit more filling all right file overwrite change all right let's go back into view all right, we're back in VU. And now I'm gonna go down here. And I'm going to and apply changes. All right, I love this. So this is what it looks like. I actually really like this, I'm not gonna lie. And it sticks out, and most likely I'm gonna put it in my shop. So, it's not difficult doing chains, but if you make it difficult, it's going to be difficult. I just picked the more simpler chains to do. Uh, I might make this bigger, the pendant bigger, but for the most part, I actually really like this. It's not bad, it sticks out, it stands out, and I'm hoping that this video helped you guys and if it didn't, I'm sorry, but just message me uh, or start over. Try to start over. I, you guys might find something that you really like, but it might not work. But I did something simple. Um, I'm hoping this video does help you guys. But thank you guys for watching my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Click those notification buttons so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. If you have any questions or concerns, I have an Instagram. You can hit me up there or YouTube. I do get back to people ASAP. Um, and if I can do the video, I will do it. If I can't do the video, I'll let you know I can't do it. But thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll talk to you guys later.